Illinois is not only the land of Lincoln and birthplace of Ronald Reagan, it is the home state of President Obama. And as the Republican primary was playing out here, we decided to go over to the national headquarters of the president's re-election operation and talk with one of his top political strategists, David Axelrod. This is where we met Axelrod at the headquarters that covers 50,000 square feet. 300 staff are devoted to advertising, social media, and building support for Mr. Obama in communities nationwide. Wondering whether you're still a supporter. The assumption here is that the election will be close. As you approach the beginning of the campaign, what are the president's weaknesses? It is no secret that we've come through a very difficult period uh, for our country, a recession that began in uh, 2008. And, you know, when we came to office was uh, the worst that we've seen since the Great Depression. This is a difficult environment. No one would deny that. We wondered what the campaign intends to do with super PACs, those new political action committees that can take in unlimited donations from millionaires and billionaires. The president feels strongly that super PACs are a very bad development in our politics because it gives disproportionate uh, voice to people who can write enormous checks. Well, I mean, if the president's so against them, why are you inviting people to contribute to the super PACs that support them? Because, president? as I said, you can't play touch when the other side's playing tackle. If you've got uh, super PACs, on the other side that are committed to spending uh, half a billion dollars or more uh, to defeat you, uh, almost entirely negative ads. I think you can anticipate that that's what they're going to do. What do you admire about the Romney campaign? The Romney campaign has been uh, doggedly uh, uh, tenacious. Every time they've had an opponent, uh, they've mowed them down under a hail of negative media. When your whole message is, the other guy's a jerk, uh, there's not much for people to grab onto. There's not much inspiration there. The president's strategists expect the campaign will be expensive somewhere over the more than $700 million they spent last time.